update on Cyclone Luban, which is progressing towards the west at this time as a tropical storm intensifying as it's going. 60 miles per hour and a pressure of 990 millibars at 7pm Gulf Standard Time, October 8th. The storm's located at 12.4 degrees north, 60.8 degrees east. Um, and its damage potential is increasing with a stage 3 now on the CDPS 10 tiered scale. Um, it's likely to move towards the northwest as you'll see on the model run shortly, but at the minute it's 458 miles from Hadibo, 507 from Hasik, 554 from Masira, and 549 now from Salalar and 785 for Muscat, but it's not really going in that direction, we believe. Most of the model consensus takes it further west. Uh, no actual warnings in effect at this time. There is a sea warning out there or a message from Oman, as they often do uh, during events like these, um, out over the high seas, but at the minute, nothing on land yet. Uh, this is what we expect from the models over the next few days. The storm progressing towards the northwest, not moving particularly quickly. At the moment it's only moving at around 7 knots, 8 miles per hour. Um, and that slow movement is likely to continue, only just reaching the islands, uh, reaching the coast rather, by Thursday or Friday. And there you can see it moving in. And the latest GFS run that you can actually see here, this is what it's showing. Um, actually saying a weaker storm than what was said in the last update. So that's also a curiosity to behold as well. A parallel in the coast near Salalar by the looks of things and then moving inland. Here's the current temperatures around 28 or 29 out at sea where it matters. Of course the higher temperatures inland obviously over the Arabian Peninsula. Uh, warmer sea surface temperatures lead to a stronger storm. Uh, 26 degrees is usually enough to sustain a storm like this. And this is what we expect again over the next few days. The green areas being storm force winds. The yellow areas when you see them will correspond to hurricane force winds. There they are just about on the center of the storm moving into land. Possibly a, probably a minimal hurricane strength cyclone as it moves in there. Then parallel in the coast moving inland. Uh, that's what the latest model run says. Quite a bit different from what the last one said. So uh, there is still a lot of flip flopping that could be done in terms of those uh, models. These are the latest chances of tropical storm force winds. We've actually got no computerized estimates yet. Uh, we're expecting them pretty soon, hopefully. It will help us out a lot. 40% in Salalar and 20% in Tamarit. Um, and those could rise over the next few days, most likely. Uh, so this is the latest on the models. You can see now none of them saying it will get to Category 2, so that is a little bit of good news. Uh, but still, we are expecting a Category 1 out of this storm. Uh, wind shear is likely to be on the decline in the next two days. That will be the main reason why this storm will be allowed to strengthen. And then there's another look at the models there. GFS versus HWRF. Uh, HWRF takes it much further south. May not even make landfall on Oman if that was to play out. And these are the latest images. I have to say, it does appear to be moving a little bit south of what is forecasted, at least by the GFS model. You can see how it's been progressing there. Gradual westward or west-northwestward movement. So perhaps we could be looking at Socotra Island, perhaps, for a potential storm um, impact. Uh, but we'll wait and see on that. It could go in between. It could go either direction, north or west. And this storm bodes further watching. It could still deliver lots of rain to those areas as well. Stay tuned for more tomorrow morning. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash Force 13. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.